C24, WPTY. Our focus, the Mid-South. This is ABC 24 News. The family of Forest Hill speaks out about his death. He was shot on July 3rd outside his home in Northeast Shelby County. The suspect in the murder, David G. Hickerson, was captured today. And as ABC 24 Sam Allman tells us, the family thought the suspected killer was a friend of the victim. I mean, the guy who killed him, you know, he even helped him. When he got a prison, he helped him get a job. Willie Hill talks about the relationship between David Hickerson and his uncle. Hickerson's now charged with shooting his relative outside of his home on Penny Lane on July 3rd. Today, his funeral was held at Rosemark Church. Family members say they don't hold any bad feelings against Hickerson. Yes, justice should be served. But what we want as a family for David Hickerson is that he might be saved that he might become an instrument for the Lord. And just Witnesses like say the two had a disagreement outside of Hill's home. Then a single gunshot rang out. Hickerson fled the scene. A few days later, the Shelby County Sheriff's Department held a press conference in hopes of finding the suspected murderer. On the 4th of July, he was spotted uh, right at the Tipton County, Shelby County line. We spent, sent several of our cars up there, and, uh, but uh, he was able to evade us at that time. Hickerson had served time in jail for second-degree murder and now faces a first-degree murder charge for the death of Hill. We know David Hickerson was the man that pulled the trigger, but you have to understand that Satan is behind the man that pulled the trigger. I heard that he was caught. He was caught. He either turned himself in. I don't know what, how it was happening, but, you know, he's supposed to be in jail now. Sam Allman, ABC 24, UPN 30 News. Now, Hickerson was out on parole for the first murder when deputies say he killed his latest victim. Memphis police arrest two other suspects wanted for murder. 22-year-old Marvin Fulwiley faces charges for the shooting death of 28-year-old Rodericus Johnson Reese. Police say it happened after the two argued outside a house on Mississippi Boulevard on Monday. And 21-year-old Latrice Lachey Mills faces charges for a July 4th murder. Witnesses say Mills and May Knight argued. It then escalated into a fist fight. That's when police say Mills pulled a pistol and shot. The Reverend Jesse Jackson brought his struggle for an end to racism today to Kokomo, Mississippi. <laughs> He marched with people from Kokomo questioning the death of 17-year-old Renard Johnson. Johnson was found hanging from a peach tree in his family's yard. A final autopsy lists the cause of death as suicide and shows Johnson had some alcohol in his blood and urine. The boy's family, however, says he did not kill himself. Jackson says the teen was lynched after reports he had been dating a white girl. Lawmen in Crittenden County managed to capture one escapee, but another is still on the loose. 34-year-old Anthony Deese and 26-year-old Joseph David Williams reportedly broke out of the jail around 11 last night. Both were wearing street clothes and orange or brown jail sandals. Deese was being held for the rape of a 9-year-old girl. He's still on the run. Williams was recaptured today, and if you have any information on the whereabouts of Deese, you can call the Crittenden County Sheriff's Department at 870-739-3241. A couple of Mississippi Police Departments, they're going to be getting some new protective gear. The Bulletproof Vest Partnership Grant Act pays for up to 50% of the cost of armored vests. Now, all the branches getting 12 vests, and South Haven is receiving money for 30 vests. Both cities require officers to wear the gear when they're out in the field. Well, I wouldn't want to be uh, wearing extra clothes today because it was so hot outside. Let's go on to meteorologist Mark Walden in the Skynet Weather Center to tell us all about that heat. Well, that's right. It continues to be very hot outside. Temperatures again climbed into the middle 90s uh, this afternoon. Now, tomorrow will continue in the 90s, but over the next couple of days, the heat index will begin to climb. We'll need to find some showers to maybe cool us off, and we'll take a look and see if we can find any in your exclusive virtual five-day forecast in a few minutes. Mike? Okay, thanks a lot, Mark. Well, today was the first real test of a new service offered by FedEx. The Memphis-based business teamed up with Amazon.com to send out 250,000 copies of the new Harry Potter book. By late afternoon, FedEx had delivered 95% of the 70,000 books ordered. This delivery is very important for FedEx because we're going to utilize the new uh, network we started about three months ago called FedEx Home Delivery, which caters to the individual needs of residential customers. 
And for those who went the more traditional route, they camped out at bookstores for the delivery of book number four, Harry Potter and the Goblin of Fire. Young readers say they're ready for the new one. As what I can tell, there's 36 chapters, 737 pages, and it's a really good book so far. Well, because of the early orders, the book was a bestseller before one single copy was even sold. A loss for Memphis is a gain for South Haven. The city of South Haven plans to buy lights and displays to feature at a holiday show at S S Snowden Grove Park this year. That's going to be much like Starry Nights. Sponsors of Starry Nights decided to end the annual display at Shelby Farms last December, saying it had just grown so much and become such a success that they couldn't afford the production and maintenance costs. Proceeds from the show in South Haven will benefit local charities. And speaking of Christmas, it looked a lot like the holiday today at La Bonner. Several kids hopped on Santa's lap at the hospital to tell him their thoughts. The event starts with the motorcycle ride to the hospital. And this year, 112 male and female riders took part. So it gets bit, uh, bigger every year, thanks to the hard work of a lot of people that participate and spread the word and pass out flyers and that sort of thing. It really helps a lot. Uh, this year's Christmas in July celebration raised nearly $2,200 and dozens of toys for sick children. Well, there's still much more to come on ABC 24 News at 10, including a look at an annual event to give back to the community in its 126 years. So stay with us. I woke up to having him on my back with scissors cutting off my hair. I like a woman with short hair. You were dominating this girl. A passion for justice. Judge Joe Brown. His ex accidentally spilled bleach on his new girlfriend's clothes. Me, I would have done both. I would have done his clothes because I would have felt better. <laughs> Judge Judy Justice. It all begins Monday afternoon at 4 on ABC 24. Luscious ham, crisp bacon, savory Italian sausage, zesty pepperoni, tasty beef, and pork topping. A dream? A hopeless fantasy? No, it's Pizza Hut's famous Meat Lover's Pizza. With six, count them, six mouth-watering meat toppings. The Meat Lover's Pizza is a meat lover's dream come true. And the dream gets better. It's just $9.99 for a medium. That's right, a very lean $9.99. Somebody please pinch me. The Meat Lover's Pizza from Pizza Hut. Another one of the best pizzas under one roof. Now, buy a medium Meat Lover's Pizza from Pizza Hut and get a second medium pizza for just six bucks. every weekend. People use the Sunshine Pages for all the bright reasons. All the sections are color-coded so you can go right to what you want. I shop the yellow page section because I find everything fast. We run the largest ad we can on the Sunshine Pages. It's cost-effective. It gets results. We're just going to keep on doing it. It works. The white and yellow pages are together in one book. The Sunshine Pages has definitely helped our business grow locally and long distance. We're up to more than 300 moves a month, and a lot of that comes directly from the Sunshine Pages. The Sunshine Pages, the bright choice. Chevy Chase and Beverly D'Angelo star in National Lampoon's European Vacation, Saturday night at 10.30 on ABC 24's Popcorn Theater. Well, it's a Memphis tradition more than a century old, and even after 126 years, the St. Peter Home Picnic shows no signs of slowing down. It's a community endeavor that gives back to its hometown year after year. Y'all have fun. That's been the theme of the St. Peter Home Picnic since 1874. And it's made a lot of money for the home that serves 90 teenage girls with emotional problems. Uh, these girls return successfully back into the community and uh, are able to return to their future goals of school and uh, in the work profession and work with the community. The picnic also scores for Target House, which helps St. Jude patients and their families. When they come in from out of town, they don't have to worry about food or where they're going to stay at while their child is here getting treatment. It takes more than 500 volunteers and 50 corporate sponsors to pull this picnic off. Target has always had strong community involvement. We give back 
nationwide over a million dollars a week into the communities where we do business. And St. Peter's Home is just one of those um, avenues for us to give back in the Memphis market. And those in Memphis have turned out every year for 126 years for the food. I was called a blooming onion. Why are you out there? The sounds. The fun and the sun. Having a great time. Well, the St. Peter Picnic is considered to be the oldest continuing public event in Memphis. Now, still to come, Mark's going to be back with a look at the forecast. Plus, things get a little spacey today at Wimbledon. We're going to explain a little bit later in sports. Roll over any unused minutes from one month to the next. They're your minutes. Keep them with the new Bell South Rollover Plan. I'm a poor kid. I am the dream of a better life. You're like this guy who I'm sure always gets what he wants. That's not true. I have no clue what I want. I've always wanted to be here. This school, Raleigh, be one of you. Will Krutsky and Scout Calhoun each leave their different pasts behind Full room. for initiation into a place that will define their futures. Yes, this is the public humiliation part. <laughs> You're humiliated. I live here. <laughs> Willie Krutsky, you're going to Raleigh now? Come on, Romeo. I am in love. This wasn't in the brochure. So you don't want to have sex with me? Well, you better. A WB summer premiere. Young Americans coming to the WB. A car full of ideas. A truck with very lofty credentials. Most popular. So what's the big deal? Cash allowance. Two thousand, thousand, thousand. We could go on and on and on. A thousand cash allowance. But wait, there's even more. Up to two thousand. Make you feel good all over. Almost everything. everything. Oops. Why don't all the other guys make it this easy? Dodge different. Why do my Kraft Singles taste so good? Because the Dairy Fairy mixes milk with magic. Two out of three kids don't get the recommended amount of calcium. When they eat Kraft Singles, they're getting calcium they need and the taste they love. Kraft Singles, magic every single time. Hmm, cheesecake. What? This is heaven. Treat yourself to the rich and creamy cheesecake taste of Philadelphia snack bars. They're a little taste of heaven. Chevy Chase and Beverly D'Angelo star in National Lampoon's European Vacation, Saturday night at 10.30 on ABC 24's Popcorn Theater. France's greatest detective is missing. Never look a gift horse in the mouth. And the computer says only one man can find him. Do you know what this opportunity means to me? But can he measure up to Clouseau? <laughs> Apparently so. Don't miss Harvey Corman, Robert Wagner, David Niven, and Roger Moore, and a dog with a serious digestive problem in The Curse of the Pink Panther. Sunday at noon on ABC 24, WPTY. Have you heard what K97 is doing? K97. Yeah, I like what K97 still do. Mike Evans in the early morning team. Nikki French. Jeff Lee. Stan Bell. Kid Fresh. The world famous Kylan. K97. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Mark Walden joins us again for a sizzling forecast, right? That's right. Temperatures continue to be in the middle 90s. Heat index is running about 100, and they're actually going to get a little warmer as we go on from there. Take a look at some of this video as uh, we're looking at Geisman Park. Kids out there having a great time, playing in the water. And uh, if you're going to be out there for any length of time, you want to make sure you got some good suntan lotion, an SPF rating of 30 or above. And uh, don't be out there too long. Wow, look at that, just shaking their hair, having a great time. Tomorrow, you'll be able to jump in the pool again, and for the rest of the summer, I guarantee you, it's going to be hot for most of the upcoming days. Here's a look at Skynet 3D weather imagery showing us our surface pattern. Area of low pressure to the south of us, and area of low pressure to the north. 
in Memphis. We're stuck between the two systems under high pressure at the surface, but mainly aloft. You can see, though, to the north, some active weather there with the supercell complex moving to the southeast. That's producing some active weather north of us and to the south, a weak trough of low pressure. But our winds mainly out of the northeast for today, and that helped to keep the dew points down, and that in turn keeps the heat index down. So we'll watch that begin to increase tomorrow as our winds switch from northeast back to the south. And that in turn will again make it feel more muggy outside and it's harder for your body to cool down. 84 outside right now, dew point of 63. Rising barometer, that high pressure just sitting right on top of us. 94 degrees your high today with the morning low of 74. So running around normal, maybe a couple of degrees above. 101 the record back in 1980. And for today, no rainfall. In fact, we barely had a few clouds out there for the year running more than five inches below normal. And over the next several days, it looks to be a mainly dry forecast with maybe just an isolated shower possible. Now temperatures continue very mild in Memphis, 84 degrees. As you get to some of the outlying areas, temperatures drop off into the lower to middle 70s and they'll be cooler tonight as uh, here in Memphis, we will stay up just a bit due to the fact that we're in the city. Now to the north and east, you can see Lexington at 73, Jackson 79, most areas coming in in the lower 80s. And as we factor in the heat index, it still feels like 85. But remember what I told you, the next couple of days, the heat index will become a big factor as we'll be climbing up to near 105 and maybe even over that. So we'll keep an eye on that. Could be a story developing here in the Mid-South. Meanwhile, just a few clouds beginning to move its way up on the backside of high pressure through Little Rock tonight. Clear skies for us as we see high pressure at the surface off the east coast and aloft across our area. In fact, you can take a look at everything pieced together. The national map showing you that clockwise flow of high pressure. Look for dry weather to continue with only an isolated shower uh, possible over the next five days. Tonight, 75 clear skies. Winds be coming south at about 5 to 10. And for tomorrow, south winds will continue 5 to 10 miles per hour. Temperature is back into the middle 90s and your exclusive virtual five day forecast. Mike, it doesn't look like we're getting much heat relief here. <laughs> just a few clouds, maybe an isolated shower any one of those days, but just hot. 90s, 96, 97, heat intensity is to 105. Drink lots of liquids. Consistency is the word, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. All right, thanks a lot, Mark. Well, on the way next, Venus Williams tries to do something that hasn't been done in 42 years. Some big bucks are headed to some of the area's young baseball players and find out why Mark McGuire will miss the All-Star game when Michael Eve steps in next with sports. The station that pays your bills. Smooth. 101.1. Nothing else has the tradition of innovation. Nothing else has the trust of cotton growers. And nothing else has the technology. Karate Z with Xeon Technology. Xeon microcapsules give Karate Z the longest lasting residual and unsurpassed broad spectrum insect control for higher yields in BT and conventional cotton. Just what you need in today's cotton market. Karate Z with Xeon Technology. Nothing else comes close. Get out of the ordinary. Get in the one of the out of the ordinary. Get in the one of the out of the ordinary. Get in the one of the Now you can get out of the ordinary and into something special at our newest location in Bartlett. Getting out of the ordinary is especially easy now with All Budget Location offering a Jeep Grand Cherokee for only $3.29 a week. Come out of the ordinary at your nearest budget location today. Have you heard what K97 is doing? K97. Yeah, I like what K97's doing. Still. Mike Evans and the early morning team. Nikki French. Jeff Flea. Stan Bell. Kid Fresh. The world famous Kylan. K97. Yeah. ABC 24 Sports. Named the best sports cast in Tennessee by the Associated Press. Go strike Mike on the street looking for winners. That's it. Ah! That's it. Look how tall it is. No, it's real tall. Come on, seven. If you were to go to Gold Strike right now, you'd see this. Bam! Look at that. Hello, I came to gamble. I want to win! Well, I like to play that 21. I'm a winner! Ding, 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 ding. All right. Hey, I'm a nickel slot man. Nickel. <laughs> oh, hey, slow down. 24K, 24, 24 hours, Gold Strike Casino. Where are you going? Come back. Let's talk some more. Today's baseball scoreboard is brought to you by Gold Strike Casino Resort.
Welcome back to the show. When the Jernigans decided to bring minor league baseball back to Memphis, they had more in mind than just putting a team on the field. They wanted to put the game back in the hearts and minds of local baseball fans, especially the kids, and they have. Prior to tonight's Redbirds game with Nashville, AutoZone presented the Memphis Redbirds Baseball Foundation with a check for $100,000, money that will go towards the RBI Youth Baseball Program. No score now in the sixth. Runners at the corners. Rick Wilkins throws off the mark. One run would score. Nashville takes the lead. Next batter, Craig Wilson. ta -da! Nashville up 3-0 just like that, and the Sounds would go on to win it by the final of 6-2. Same teams tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock. First it was his back, now it's his knee. And this injury is going to keep Mark McGuire out of the All-Star game. Big Mac says the tendonitis in his right knee gets worse by the day. So he decided to sit out the last two games of the Cardinals series with the Giants and skip the All-Star festivities, including the home run derby. McGuire won't even make the trip to Atlanta. Instead, he's going to stay back in St. Louis for treatment. The Cardinals hope to have him back in the lineup Thursday when they head to Chicago to face the White Sox. But with or without McGuire, the game must go on, and it did today against the Giants. Bottom third, cards up one zip. Jim Edmonds sneaks one past J.T. Snow through his legs. Fernando Vigna and Edgar Interia, who will replace McGuire in the All-Star game, comes home to score. Cards up three zip. Top fourth now, Ellis Burks puts the Giants on the board with a solo home run, his 10th of the year, and his second straight game with three hits. Top five, Rich Aria. That's a base knock up the middle. Two runs would score, and the Giants would rally for a 7-6 win. In New York, the best day-night doubleheader ever played. Game one, Mets, Yankees, Shea Stadium. And it got dark really, really fast. Game one, let's just say that the Mets lost 4-2. Game two, they went to the Bronx. Do we have that game? Yes, we do, and they had to take a bus to get there. Top of the second, Roger Clemens sends one high to Mike Piazza. So high, it hit him in the helmet. He would be okay, but he did leave the game as a precaution. Bottom second, Glendon Rush tags Tito Martinez in the cheek, the booty cheek. But, hey, all is fair in love in baseball. Yankees down 2-1, bottom five. Chuck Knobloch shot to left. Lenny Harris with a beat on it. Makes the grab, but can't hang on. He hits the wall. Three-run home run for Knobloch, and the Yankees go on win the second game by the final score of 4-2. Now, before she even played her first professional tennis match, Venus Williams' father, Richard, said Venus would one day dominate the game. Well, that's still yet to be seen, but again, she's only 20. Today, Venus was trying to win her first Grand Slam title and join her younger sister, Serena, who captured last year's U.S. Open. Venus facing Lindsay Davenport in the women's final. Venus up 3-1 in the first set. Davenport on the move. Venus comes to the net, puts away the volley, wins the first set, 6-3. Second set, tie break. Venus up 6-3. Championship point. Davenport forced to come to the net. Can't put away the volley. Venus Williams, your winner, 6-3, 7-6, becoming the first African-American woman to win at Wimbledon since Althea Gibson in 1957 and 58. I love winning Wimbledon. <laughs> I love playing tennis. I love winning titles, and I realized, you know, I wouldn't be any happier in my life in general if I won or lost. Sure, in tennis, the tennis part of my life, I'd be much happier, but winning and losing and money and riches or fame, that doesn't make you happy. But it doesn't hurt, does it, Venus? $600,000 is what she got. Anyway, from one country club sport to another, time for some golf. Third run action from the Western Open. We go to Chicago, Cog Hill. Steve Flesh, he's left-handed. Eagle on the fifth, shot a 68 today. He is your co-leader at 13 under par. Co-leader because Brian Henniger is also at 13 under par. This is a birdie for him. He shot 270. What about Tiger Woods? He's still lurking. He's seven under for the tournament. Six shots off the pace, and six shots is not too much for Mr. Woods to make up in one day. One other note, two players from just play ball for University of Tennessee women. They're going to go to the All-Star game, but okay. big news. All right, thanks a lot, there, Michael. Mm -hmm. Well, still to come, Mark's going to take a look at the forecast and the salad shooter. Make a, making a salad the hard way, we're going to find out what's next for this martial arts expert. Stay with us. Do you remember Jared? I used to be out to about here. He weighed 425 pounds. And at least to here. Until he invented the Subway Diet. 
and now I'm like this. In honor of Jared's achievement, hey, Jared. hey guys. Subway introduces the chicken salad sub with only four grams of fat. Congratulations, Jared. You're an inspiration to all of us. Subway, the way a sandwich should be. Say you were looking for paint to match your wallpaper. Or wallpaper to match your paint. Or even fabric to match both. Wouldn't you want to go to Seabrook where they really know how to help you put everything together? And wouldn't you rather go now while everything's on sale? At Seabrook. every weekend. To make great ice cream, you need real whipping cream. My granddad made angel food out of real whipping cream. Not half and half, not cream, real whipping cream. My dad, my brother Russell and I still do. Every now and then the cost of whipping cream goes up. But we'll never change what goes into angel food. It's just as good today, granddad. I promise. Creamy, rich, Angel food. <sighs> Ever wonder why the animals seem sleepy in the morning? Maybe it's because we were out late last night. The Memphis Zoo is a place to be for a little walk on the wild side. We are now open until 9 p.m. on Saturday. Admission is just $5 after 5. No matter if your date is 6 or 60, there's excitement, adventure, and maybe a little danger. Scary to think the only thing between him and us is that railing. Oh, yeah. This summer, leave your weekend plans to the WB. The kitchen is mine. You in the kitchen is like a black man in a horror film. Somebody gonna die. Friday night, your favorite comedies. Tell me. We love you. Sunday night, bonus episodes of Steve Harvey, For Your Love, and Jamie Foxx. You're smart. You're beautiful. You always keep yourself clean. Start your weekend and end your weekend with WB Comedy. Sunday night on ABC 24, WPTY. And finally tonight, Memphis at the site of a new world record. Patrick the Viper Wynn set the world record today, breaking 100 boards with his bare hands in less than 25 seconds. Wynn now holds seven world's records for breaking things like slabs and boards. He also holds a fruit slicing world record. Today's efforts should get him in the Guinness Book of World Records. Okay? Congratulations to him. Right? You do that all the time, right? Okay. <laughs> well, what, what can we expect weather-wise? Weather-wise, we're looking at a hot forecast. Let's take a look. Temperatures will be in the middle 90s over the next several days with overnight lows into the upper 70s. Heat indexes are going to be on the increase as our winds become more southerly. So uh, take frequent breaks if you have to work outside in that exhausting heat. Okay, well, thanks a lot. That's our time for now. We will see you tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Coming up next on Popcorn 